Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Today's reading titled, The Beauty of Adoption, was written by Con Campbell. The 2009 film, The Blind Side, depicts the true story of Michael Orr, a homeless teenager. A family takes him in and helps him overcome learning difficulties and achieve excellence in American football. In one scene, the family talks with Michael about the possibility of adopting him after he'd been living with them for several months. In a sweet and tender reply, Michael exclaims that he thought he already was a part of the family. It's a beautiful moment, just as adoption is a beautiful thing. Love is extended and full inclusion is offered as a family opens its arms to a new member. Adoption changes lives, just as it profoundly changed Michael's life. In Jesus, believers are made children of God through faith in Him. We are adopted by God and become His sons and daughters. As God's adopted children, we receive the Spirit of His Son. We call God Father, and we become His heirs and co-heirs with Christ. We become full members of His family. When Michael Orr was adopted, it changed his life, his identity, and his future. How much more for us who are adopted by God? Our life changes as we know Him as Father. Our identity changes as we belong to Him. And our future changes as we're promised a glorious, eternal inheritance. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Galatians chapter 3, verses 26 through chapter 4, verse 7. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. What I am saying is that as long as an heir is under age, he is no different from a slave, although he owns the whole estate. The heir is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. So also, when we were under age, we were in slavery under the elemental spiritual forces of the world. But when the set time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those under the law, that we might receive adoption to sonship. Because you are his sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, the Spirit who calls out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but God's child. And since you are his child, God has made you also an heir. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus, through whom we have salvation from our sins because of his shed blood for us on the cross. Thank you for calling us into your family and calling us your children. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries. 